I think the real the real memory that I have of the Olympics was not a very great memory because the way we went to the Olympics and things like that in those days. But I think the the closing ceremony was a very moving ceremony at Moscow with the Misha crying and stuff like that. So I think that was one memory which is etched in my brain. So in those days things were very different. We didn't have any international competitions. We ran in India. We ran on grass. We ran on mud, and we suddenly had to go and run on a synthetic surface. The bounce was different. The feel is different. Everything is different. So it is like uh, you know, a person coming from a hut in a jungle and suddenly coming to a big city and seeing skyscrapers. That was that was the basic uh, feeling that athletes got in those days. I think I think there's been a sea change. I think everything from uh, infrastructure. Today you have so many synthetic tracks. You have so many places you can train. That time there was no sports science. There was no nutrition. There was no injury recovery. There was there was no uh, even a gym. There was not even a proper gym in those days with machines to, you know, train certain muscles. All you did was free weights. You ran on the road. You ran on the hill. So this is a completely change from there to then. Now, now there are tracks. Now there are academies. Now the National Institute of Sports, Sports Science Center in the National Institute of Sports. The nutrition that you get. You have a nutritionist. You have a mental trainer. So. I think I think it's a completely sea change. It's a it's change. I I mean I don't think anybody in those days could have even imagined that this could happen in India. Sleep therapist. Sleep therapist. I I think I think it's very simple. You are as good as anybody else. You are as good as the training you have done. There is no need to be worried with big names, small names. I think I think they've done good training. We've given them enough exposure. They know exactly what their performances are. All they need to do is go there, repeat their performance, or do slightly better with the good competition you're getting, and that's it. Don't worry about who's running on the right, who's running. Run your race. Do your throw. Do your jump. Why are you worried about others? They will do what they have to do. You can't do what they are doing. They can't do what you are doing. So you have to do what you have to do. It's simple. I think I think Neeraj, what Neeraj has done to Indian sport, I don't think anybody has done, because he has given that confidence that Neeraj is like us. He's the same flesh and blood. He eats with us. He sleeps with us. He trains with us. And if he can do it, we can do it. So before that, oh foreign, yeah, wo phalana, dimka. Foreign coach, foreign food, foreign this, foreign training. They're same as us. There's no difference. So probably, probably I think the facilities which we are giving our athletes is probably better than most countries in the world. So I think in the world is very clear. We want more participants. We want more fans. We want more partnerships. We want innovation. Similarly, in India, we want the same, but we are little behind in what we are doing. So I think in India, we still have to create that full ecosystem. So we are create with the help of World Athletics, we are creating more coaches. With the help of World Athletics, we are creating more technical officials. We are creating an ecosystem. We are we are using a lot of World Athletics help for training our athletes to go to different centers, etc. So I think mutually we are all benefiting, and mutually we are all doing very well. I think I think it is is unprecedented what we are getting today. I can't really think of even three countries that are giving as much support as we are giving our athletes. And I think I think it's time that our athletes realize that. I've been told by some of the foreign coaches that we're giving too much. We're taking away their hunger. 
you're not because in very very comfortable zone if you're in a comfort zone if we're not challenging them enough this is what some of the foreign coaches are telling us but i think i think the athletes have to realize what we are getting the amount of competition we are giving them the amount of facility the sport science support the psychologist support doctors support recovery expert support i think i think uh, all of them are uh, now in a in a zone where i think they're slowly getting to believe that boss if we are getting something we have to give something in return and i think that's slowly building up in their psyche which is very good because if that doesn't happen how long will government continue to support you and you are not performing government has a lot of priorities a lot of issues whether it is health whether it's water whether it is roads whatever that and in spite of that government is giving you all the support no expectations no expectation we will do better than we did last time i can assure you that much and when i say better is not only medal how many more people came to the finals how many more people broke national records how many more people broke asian records uh, that is what i mean how many more people qualified that is what i mean overall is we make a, the biggest mistake we make is trying to calculate the number of medals and that is a very very big mistake we make Our last logo was made in 1946. It has stood the set time from 1946. It's a chakra. In those days, for us, chakra was very important. The time of our freedom struggle. It was the time it was chakra was on the flag. We are gone. We moved in the world. If you look at World Athletics logo, you look at European Athletics logo, you look at Australian Athletics logo. They are very, very contemporary. and in this you can see jumping you can see running you can see throwing and you can see a track so is representing it is representing athletics it's uh, contemporary like most other countries have moved to world athletics also recent uh, uh, in 2019 changed logo to the new logo before there was the figure of somebody running before that there was uh, there was uh, like a uh, shield type of a figure so you have to move on and and this is dynamic it is showing the new india it is showing that our athletes are now ready to get into the new world we are come here you can see the we are here we are going to break in we are going to compete so i think i think prize money is good uh it it's time that our athletes benefit from their sport in athletics uh, they have been getting less money than lot of other sport we need to up it we don't have that much money to up it on day one but we'll up it slowly secondly there are other leagues like a new league which is going to be set up in the us which is done by michael johnson which is a large prize money event world athletics has also come up with uh, an ultimate championship event which is again prize money to me if athletics is getting money because of the athlete why are the why are we getting money because in our, in athletics it's the athlete people are coming to see the athlete a sponsorship because of athlete they are the centerpiece so if they are my centerpiece and they are bringing money to me something should go back to them as simple as that so as an olympian if and as a international athlete if money goes to an athlete i am very happy so i have no issue again ioa recently has announced that they're going to give more money than the government of india now if that is there then what is wrong with the world athletics giving money to the athletes fine in whichever way the athletes were getting money before except that the federation is not now federation is giving olympic committee can give but federation can't give how is it different so i mean i, I don't know this why the discussion keeps taking place 
As long as the athlete benefits, I'm happy.